this is Bill from Bohemian Zen. It's Monday, July 6th. This is the fourth time I've recorded this because Audacity wants to go all tin can on me about a minute in, but you're watching a slit strip speed draw video. Recording the entire process, or recorded the entire process the other day, uh, I think on Wednesday. I sped it up. It was probably about six hours worth of work. Um, I compressed it down into about uh, a little under ten minutes so that we can put it up on YouTube. What you're seeing now is just the pencil stage. I usually start with a uh, light layout so that I kind of know what I'm going to do. But I try to do most of the um, creative process on screen, when, especially whenever I'm recording the videos. So it's really just a few lines just to give me an idea of where the characters are going to be. Um, yeah, this is the fourth time I recorded this uh, for some reason. Audacity was wanting to screw up on me. Uh, the first time it kind of sucked. I was just rambling and not making any sense. Just a little bit frustrated, if you can't tell. Uh, what you see me doing, I'm just copying the panel, the pencils that I did on the first panel, and uh, copy-pasting them into the uh, second and third, and just making slight little changes that need done. He makes a just a little turn around and yells at him on the third panel, and on the second one he's huffing duster, which is what you see him doing. Uh, well, it's not going on a tin can on me yet, so maybe it's because I had a second audio track up there. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But uh, either way, I'm glad that it's working now. Yeah, a lot of this stuff, I just uh, one of the benefits of working in the computer is uh, I can copy-paste a whole bunch of uh, stuff that instead of having to redraw it over and over again. Starting on the inking stage right there, um, I usually try to ink with over pretty light or pretty rough pencils been playing around with the brushes that I use. It's a brush called What I Do is Secret. I found it on DeviantArt. It kind of mimics a brush pen. But I've been playing around with it trying to get a more pleasing line out of it. Something that doesn't look so much like digital inks because, well, because apparently editors hate digital inks. But thankfully, I don't have an editor. This is all my own shit. Um, either way, just trying to get something that looks a little bit more decent. It's not really a matter of, like, that I'm worried about what people think of the finished product as much as just trying to get something that I like a little bit better. And I realized I had these settings on uh, the thick and thin going down to too thin of a line whenever I had the light pressure, so I kind of limited the as, as thin as the uh, minimum diameter can go, which can seriously improve uh, the look of your lines, especially whenever working in painter. And I screwed up her, I didn't like the way that her arms crossed looked there, so I just kind of uh, went in and touched it up, made it look like she has her hand on her hip. That's another one of the benefits of working digitally, is kind of can make changes where you wouldn't be able to make changes uh, otherwise. been working on a second project, uh, a possible Zuda submission with uh, Chad Boudreau, one of the writers for Bohemian Zen, who did the pirate story that was so excellently done. Um, and uh, that's been coming along. Hopefully, we'll. Uh, I, I put some stuff up on the blog, uh, some images from it before uh, concept designs, and uh, I've been working on uh, the page layouts and some more concepts. So hopefully, we'll have something to uh, report on that relatively soon. What you're seeing here, the uh, ink in the chair. A lot of that's done with the straight line tool, and uh, it's pretty handy, especially whenever you're trying to do perspective and stuff or doing. Uh, uh, technical and drawing technical stuff or just anything where you would need to use a ruler under any other circumstances um, it's pretty handy and it jumps out pretty quickly so uh, it's one of the reasons I like painter it's it's uh, at this point I've been using it for so long that it seems like pretty much intuitive of they uh, definitely I, I I tried digital linking in Photoshop before matter of fact that was whenever what I did the first of the uh, Special edition pages that I'm coloring now, the first ones that I digitally inked, um, I did in Photoshop. But I really, uh, one painter I picked up on Painter 10 because they, they always had the free rotate tool, and that uh, I'd used that before. I'd used Painter before to ink, and that was always a benefit just because of the fact that it's sometimes you want to get a line from a different angle. Right here, a lot of lines jumped up. That uh, that's the a bit of inks that I lost. It was the only the only video that I lost was inking the uh, desk and the uh, computer screen, the beer bottles and stuff like that. And again, it was because I let it go too long. I'm using uh, I believe Cam Studio. 
uh, and Audacity, both of which are open source programs. Uh, if you use Cam Studio to screen record, just uh, watch anything over a half hour. You might want to stop. Get up there to like, I think one time it was like over two gigabytes uh, of video, and I think I'd left it record for about 40 minutes to an hour, and it just it corrupted immediately. So you gotta watch how high, how, how long you let it record whenever you're using that software. I'm actually pretty happy with the way the lines are looking with the the way I adjusted that little brush pen uh, painter brush. I think I'm gonna, especially uh, coming up, we're running on the uh, working on coloring the last uh, special edition story in the first uh, collection of them. So I'm definitely gonna be using the inks a lot more. Like the 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 first, if you uh, didn't notice the first of the special edition stories were all done from very tight pencils to colors so I'm definitely experimenting with how uh, I can get the things done quicker now and uh, having a good uh, dependable uh, having a brush you like uh, when working digitally is important to the uh, quality of the finished product you see the flats just kind of jumped up there for a minute. I decided not to record the flats just because that's a it's just a really tedious process. It's not. I didn't think it'd be anything that would be really visually interesting to anybody. So I decided to just go ahead and uh, say screw it. Basically, what I did here is I adjusted the colors and then I took a, bl a light blue, reversed the gradient so that the color was on the uh, far end of the gradient tool rather than from the starting point, so that it looks like the the uh, Shade, sh the shadow is uh, getting darker as it goes out and then I just start going and erase out the places where I want highlights uh, from the computer screen on the characters so that's what you're seeing is me actually erasing out uh, uh, shading and I just go in and uh, select the places I erased out and add a few highlights with the screen tool or with the uh, with the gradient on the screen tool actually I think it's in a separate layer and a screen layer I'm messing with the letters now. I originally wasn't going to record the lettering process, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Uh, and uh, you see me adjusting a lot of the uh, dialogue in here. Part of that's because I kind of just had an idea for this strip, and I kind of knew basically what was going on, but I didn't know how to open it, you know. Um, so I just tooled around with them until uh, until it felt right, until it sounded right, and uh, I think it went across fairly well. Just me bringing up the uh, balloons here in a minute. Um, basically what you do is you just uh, take the ellipse tool and set it to uh, a .75 stroke with uh, the rounded edges and um, it's the second the the two the second two selections I don't know, I can't remember what the actual um, selections are but I know one of them's round uh, round your your corners but then you go in and select them and uh, hit select directional handles and grab the scale tool and you can adjust them make them seem like they're more rounded I've actually been finding that it's uh been having a lot more fun in the lettering stage than I realized that I would. It's uh, kind of a fun to see it's uh, see them, the pages get wrapped up uh, really quickly, and uh, you know, it doesn't take too long, and you kind of get to put the finishes on and the sound effects and stuff like that. Anyways, I think it's uh it's about it. It's getting close to wrap up, so. Uh, Hey, thanks for checking it out. Uh, again, this is Bill from Bohemian Zen, and as always, if you don't like it, we'll eat it. My, my.